intertwining on the edit. I'm coming up on two years clean of drug and alcohol. My name is Bruce. Um, I have 10 months clean. I want to get involved in anything they have to offer here, everything. Thanks Thank for you. being here. The Porch Light Initiative is an innovative collaboration between the city's behavioral health system and the city's mural arts program. And our goal really is to improve the behavioral health status of both individuals and the community at large. Because of the stigma associated with behavioral health conditions, such as mental illness and substance use, people often don't reach out for help. And if we don't change our paradigm, people who need our help are not going to access care. This is not about the counselor saying, okay, well, here's your treatment plan. This is what you're going to do. These are your goals. Now sign here. It's really about what do you need in order to have a fulfilling life? We're interested in your life. Life can be very difficult in some of the communities that we're working in. People have significant economic challenges. They have social challenges. Today's the 26th of January, the 26th day of the year, and there's already been 37 murders, yeah. okay? I grew up in probably the biggest drug market in Philadelphia, so I understand. We have to focus on the things that bring people together as a community. What can you do to change this? Hey, Roy. What's up? Hey. The purpose of the Porch Light Initiative is to use art to enhance mental health resources in parts of the city that are struggling and to use art to overcome the stigma of mental illness, addiction, and homelessness. And really the beauty of this work, it's really about partnership and collaboration. We're working with the City of Philadelphia, the Department of Behavioral Health and Intellectual Disability Services, and then we're working with these wonderful provider agencies, APM, the 11th Street Family Services, Sobriety Through Outpatient, Project Home. They work with the city's most vulnerable population. They were open to embracing non-traditional ways of working, and they wanted to deliver mental health services that resonated with people in the deepest way possible. It's about what you bring to this community. And, and we wanted to really talk about what our strengths are and then how that can translate into the mural. The mural is a byproduct. What we're involved in is social transformation and the vehicle we use is art. This program is very rigorous. There are workshops over long periods of time. The artists work carefully and deliberately with participants. We started creating these lists of things that we feel make a community strong. The ingredients for the soup, I guess, that, that is the design. There's a layered feel to this that I like. You guys, I don't know if you're uh, ready for this, but we're, we're painting today. I do get you paint. Yeah. It's humongous. And that's just part of his sleeve. Yeah. I'm gonna go with R, 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 so. The process that people go through when they're addressing their own personal recovery, it is a transformative process. And in a similar way, art is a transformative process. Down here, back there. Okay. I'm gonna see this on the wall. Oh, I feel great, because I know I contributed to it. I'll go home and say I had a good day and looking forward to come back tomorrow to finish this. Oh, this is nice. I like this. We just can't wait for people to come into treatment and then discharge them back to communities. We really have to understand how those communities help to support people's health. Mural arts really demystifies mental illness and addiction. And our design, our evaluation design, tries to capture that. What we've come to find is that the people who participate do feel a sense of hopefulness about the future, a reduced sense of stigma. They also report a sense of connectedness to their community that they didn't prior to that. Both the individuals in the clinic and community members create this public narrative around mental illness, recovery, trauma, that is healing. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for being a part of our community. It 
identifying with something positive. When you see murals like this, it helps people to understand recovery is possible. What we see by providing beauty and hope, people start to see themselves in terms of their potential. The porch light has gave me that opportunity to find me, you know. So I really enjoy it and I'd like to thank y'all.